So we are live. Welcome to another episode of the Greatness Engineering Hour show. It all, it's always a pleasure to, uh, to come in and bring you new champions. And today we're going to the Netherlands. Uh, so first time in the Netherlands. Yes, we had Dutch people, but this time we're going straight into the Netherlands. And we're going to talk to uh, the dream expert. And uh, so you're probably asking yourself, what do you do when your dream expert will have the opportunity to, uh, to, to, to know a little bit more about my guest today? Uh, my guest is Ricardo, Ricardo Koch, and he is, uh, he is an influencer, an artist, but uh, he works uh, with uh, the young generation, so helping them to, uh, to own their skills. He will have the opportunity to uh, to talk to you, to introduce himself and to let us know exactly, uh, you know, his background and what he's uh, really doing. So we're going to focus our conversation on, um, we're going to focus our conversation on making sure that we create uh, the right foundation for the culture and for the team. So something very important right now with what's going on. Uh, especially, you know, we went through all this time of uncertainty with the the, uh, the pandemic, but now it's time to rebuild. So putting the right foundation and having the right people around becomes very important. So let uh, my name is Mirai, Mirai Tulekima. Uh, I think you know me by now. Uh, Aka, the greatness engineer. I'm based in Perth in Australia. And I'm really looking forward to have this conversation with Ricardo. So let us know where you're watching from, if you're watching live, and don't hesitate to come in and ask any question to, to our guest today, or just give your, you know, any insight you have uh, on, on the subject. So we will start the conversation. I ask you to have, you know, your pen and paper, because that's gonna be Andy as you uh you know as you you take notes and and uh, and and actually make sure you don't lose on what um on what ricardo is going to share today so let's go let's have ricardo and start this amazing conversation that i think is going to help you as you build you know your uh your foundation for your uh, business but also make sure that you have the right people around you Another episode of the Greatness Engineering Hour show, the show that is brought to you by the Virai Telekima Global Leadership Organization. What feel is important is if you just look at the word compassion, when uh -huh. it's behavior, it's uh -huh. something that can be learned and it is something that we can embody through habits and through our daily actions. To get this idea that if we interject this wisdom intentionally, mm -hmm. uh, it is, it, I call them needle movers. It's the needle mover that's missing. Um, don't deprive the world of your greatness. Mm -hmm. Don't do that anymore. You know, dare to excel, dare to be sexy, dare to be you, dare to be the best version of yourself. Uh, impact yourself positively and from, from there, impact others. And you are not alone.
Yes, thanks for having me, Mariah. <laughs> Welcome to the Greatness Engineering Hour show. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to have you. And we are uh, looking forward to have this conversation. Uh, before we get into, uh, you know, the, um, the midst of the subject, just wanted yeah. you to introduce yourself to let us know who you are. And, uh, and, and you know, any, anything that is important to know about you. Uh, anything that's important to know about me now. First, I'm uh, now 32 years old. Uh, I'm now w do what I'm doing now for 16 years uh, in different forms and different ways. But for the last two years, we started uh, uh, a new organization uh, within the pandemic uh, called Fearless Generation. Uh, where we, we try to help young people to uh, discover which and live their dreams in a fearless, healthy, and long-term way despite the circumstances in life because mm -hmm. we can't guarantee there won't be negative circumstances, but despite the things you, uh, over, uh, you uh, experience in life, uh, you face in life, you can learn to live fearless, you can learn to have a healthy character, to stay on your dream, to live your calling, your purpose, um, uh, your cause, how do you want to call it? Uh, and we do that now with a team of 15 people, uh, young people, but also elders. Uh, and despite that, also, I give uh, a lot of lectures uh, to leaders and potential leaders. Uh, I studied theology, had a master's degree in it uh, since now two, two and a half years. Uh, I studied philosophy and did a small study in psychology. So, but I also discover a lot of uh, difficulties myself that builds my character to, so that I can do what I can do right now because it's easy to go to your destination but it's hard to stay there because it needs some character to stay on your destination. If that will be uh, a big business or a marriage, or you can call what, what it will be. Um, and that's something I had to learn myself. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but now I can give the principles and the stuff to others. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And I'm also a father of a beautiful princess of six years old. Fantastic. And that's probably your, you know, your, your, uh, the, the most challenging thing because, you know, there's no, uh, there's no blueprint, you know, we, we all, you know, develop our own blueprint as, uh, as parents, but, you know, it, it is, uh, it is like, you know, when we were talking, you know, before the show, it is a very difficult period for a lot of people. I mean, we, we went through the pandemic. There's been a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. Things are, you know, very volatile. And I can imagine, and, and I think we, we've not really paid attention to the young generation when you look at things, you know. Adults have been, you know, very, uh, they, they've been fighting and, and trying to find their, their, you know, trying to survive. But then for the young generation, it's not always easy. So what I wanted to ask you is, you know, how, what are the key things that you've noticed were really important for, you know, the young, uh, you know, young people or the young adults and, and, you know, especially the one that want, that want to enter uh, entrepreneurship, what were the key challenge? What do you see as the key challenge right now and how, you know, how are you helping them? Um, yeah, the key challenge in general, uh, I can talk about, but let's talk first about in pandemic times, uh, mm -hmm. then we need to first to look at what the main, um, uh, urges, what they need the most. And, and, uh, in, in the young generation, what they need the most, uh, one of the things they do is building relationships. Uh, mm -hmm. Most people, when you're 30, 40, 50 years old, you have a lot of friendship. They are uh, built. Uh, they are already built. Uh, they are strong. Um, but in pandemic time, because of the, the the lockdowns, you can't see people. 
when you're busy with building relationships and you don't see each other very much, it can easily uh -huh. collapse. So we see a lot of uh, young people who are struggling with loneliness uh, because of that's one of the main urges when, when you're young until you're 25, 26 years old, maybe 30. Um, so that's one of the things we see in pandemic. Uh, together with what we already see in general is that a lot of young people, their uh, identity problem is, is one of the biggest problems in, in, in the next generation. And uh, because of social media, because of uh, uh, the work ethic, uh, sometimes their own parents, uh, they are always busy with proving themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of who you are is good enough just um, measure themselves to how social media says that you need to be how the parent says that you need to be how school says and because basically we're doing that the whole time uh, in in in, in um, combined with the pandemic problem about uh, the relationship issue let's say that way you see a lot of young people who catch burnout, who catch loneliness, who catch suicide. Now you can name all the consequences of it. And one mm -hmm. of the things we try to do is to first help them discover the dream, but the dream is also part of who you really are. And mm -hmm. then it's that even though you don't do something, you're worthy. You, This earth can be exist without you being here and that's something you need to realize uh there's not without something you do here without you be here and that's something we try to achieve in in, in our tv programs in, in in our podcast and we do it in a lot of ways uh but also one-on-one -on -one talking um i i don't do business i am business what's what i mostly say so it's not, I don't have work hours and then I do business, but even in my normal life when I speak to young people, I try to do that because in one moment you can change someone's life for the bad. Mm -hmm. for the good. So just try to be an influence and help them and let them see that I see them mm -hmm. and you're worthy. And that's so, and, and out of that, building a relationship with them and from there on, we can help them to step into the dreams in in the business or mm -hmm. and and in in that case uh entrepreneurs are not so different from normal people mm -hmm. uh, and young entrepreneurs especially not mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and 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 these are really simple things sometimes that we forget is that you know we just need to uh, lend, uh, you know, an ear or just ask one question just to see, you know, when, what, how they feel and what they need because, you know, sometimes they, they're so afraid to ask, especially if they don't, they, they don't feel okay. Uh, there's some kind of fear that uh, they, they, they have and they, they prefer to try to address it themselves and, and sometimes it's not actually helping them. It's, it's, it's uh, making the situation worse. So do, what is the kind of, uh, you know, uh, tools that you use, tools, strategies that, that you use to, to help you with, you know, uh, getting this message through to them and creating a safe space? Because I think it's about creating a safe yeah. space yeah, that, for them to express themselves, yeah. Um, now, with, with the thing with young people is you don't, you can't use strategy, strategies mm -hmm. because the thing with young people, uh, and that's why I love them, is they want realness. You need to be real. Mm -hmm. You need to be honest and don't use tricks to get to them because they don't like that. So... Mm -hmm. If you can call to strategy, um, just being who I am and just showing myself, because most of the time why young people don't ask help is sometimes even when I look also at my own, 
now I'm, I'm 32 right now, so I'm still a little bit young, but not that young mm -hmm. anymore. Um, even though when I look at my own time was when I was that age, it's not that people don't ask young people how they feel, but because of the measuring and mm -hmm. how society tells you a man needs to be or a girl needs to be or, or human beings needs to be, uh, they don't uh, open up with the, 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 the difficulties, the, fe the bad feelings, because they think everything needs to be perfect. It's mostly what I try to do is start with being vulnerable in the things I don't feel okay with. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my pains, my worries, my, you can call it what you want, but the bad stuff. And I, I still have bad stuff. We all have. Just mm -hmm. showing that. But it's okay to have also bad feelings or bad stuff. And because I start with that, they feel, okay, you don't going to judge me because mm -hmm. you're the same. And out of that, a relationship flows. And, and sometimes it's a relationship for a day. I remember there was a girl uh, three weeks ago. Uh, on an event where I worked as a leader and it was a youth, big youth event in the Netherlands with 15,000 people and the whole mm -hmm. day I was just connecting and, and, and my team asked me all the time how can you be just friends with them and have that kind of relationship even though you don't know them mm -hmm. this was my strategy uh, but at the end one of the girls came to me and she said I don't know what it is but, you know, I came here and I was a little bit depressed. But just talking with you and just hanging around with you, it makes me happy and opens me up. And I don't know if I ever see her anymore. But in that day, I make an influence for the rest of her life. Mm -hmm. And that's what I try to do. And that's what I try to teach my team, try to teach people in general with young people. But also for elders, in that one moment that someone that you speak to someone, you can have a big influence that will change their life in a positive or a negative way. And the thing is, you need to choose which one do you mm -hmm. want to be. And mm -hmm. that's something I'm so aware of, of that responsibility. And that's a bit, little bit my yeah, cold strategy or tool, but just being myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and that's uh, that's that's key because sometimes when you want to to be perfect or you, or you want to you know use something that is not yours, it, it can backlash. Uh, yeah. So it's important mm -hmm. it's important to be to be authentic. It's important to be and I think vulnerability is, is an important step because what we see and especially looking at social media. We think that everybody is perfect, nobody has problems. So yeah. it can actually, you know, put a lot of pressure on, on, on people and especially yeah. on the young generation to, to try to think that, you know, they have to be perfect. So when they see somebody who also has problem like them or somebody who is connecting with them, they, you know, they, 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 they are happy. They feel like, wow, okay, uh, so I, I can be... I can actually live with my imperfections. Yeah. Uh, I don't have to be perfect because that's that's really what you know uh, create the stress. So how does it impact you know? Because um, obviously you've been doing this work you said for three years. So have you seen any impact uh, you know in uh, uh, not only to the individual but to the community where they live you know or uh, in their families because I think that's sometimes. Uh, the thing that that are really important is that you know you help one person, but you want to create the ripple in effect so that it can actually go to another level to the community. So how, how has has been going uh, in the community? Um, I don't have specific examples, but uh, just. Uh, in mind, I have some examples from some young people that uh, were, they were a little bit like the problem child of the family. Mm -hmm. And because with just hanging around with them, they find the study they want to do and 
uh, there was a lot of less arguing in the in the in the family uh, with with the parents. Just that the environment changed because of just hanging around and show them that they are worthy without doing stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, I I can call the names of course because of the privacy. But mm-hmm. uh, I had some young people in in and that's in the small community communities right now, and we're just building up in a, in a slow way in the way we do it right now. But also from before this last two years, um, I know a lot of young people, but also elders, who, mm-hmm. where the family or or the schools. Uh, the way teachers teach, because I give also guest lectures in schools. Um, I, I remember six years ago, I gave a guest lecture. That's a specific example on a school in the Netherlands uh, near mm-hmm. to Amsterdam. And it was in the time that my daughter was born. And mm-hmm. I talk about identity and stuff. And one of the teachers um, was just struggling with how can I reach this class, this group of young people? Because they were, for him, just anointed, anointing, uh, anointed, anointing kids uh, a little mm-hmm. bit. He, he just hate him, you know. Mm-hmm. So after the uh, one of the lessons, I gave every class three lessons, and at the end of the third lesson, uh, 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 at the end of the second lesson, I said, "Come for the third lesson, sit with us too." And we talked about personalities and the character and, and the way they build. And mm-hmm. after that, one month later, he sent me an email and said, you know, I thought you were talking crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, I just tried to apply it. And when I tried to apply it, it works. And I love these kids and I love this class and I can mm-hmm. hand them over my knowledge. And, and I was just thinking, I knew it, but that are some small examples uh, for the bigger picture. We're not yet in reaching 100 million and and Mm -hmm. big community yet because it's something we need to build. And I think we're going to talk about it a little bit later on. But Mm -hmm. uh, in that small things, it looks so small, but it's so big um, for community. So Mm -hmm. uh, these these kind of things uh, happen a lot. Um, and I love to see that and to hear that. So sometimes I don't even know it. Sometimes mm-hmm. I don't even know the result on that moment. Sometimes later on that you hear from someone, you know that and that can this in my life and in my family and in, in my environment. And that's 10 years later on that you think, why didn't you say it to me? Because mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm, a bigger mm-hmm. boost for me too. But so sometimes you don't even know it on the moment. So don't mm-hmm. underestimate um, what mm-hmm. uh, uh, influence you have. Mm-hmm. That's that's beautiful, isn't it? You know, you don't realize you just you know work with individual day by day, and by the time you realize, you're making an impact for the community. And that's yeah. uh, that's the beauty of it, the, the real beauty of it. And and it's important that people remember that you know even the smallest action that they they do is important. They shouldn't yeah. underestimate their impact. And that's uh, I mean that's that's telling what you you've just you know talked about. So very important. So we're gonna have a, a, a short break, and we will be back. Uh, to continue this conversation. Uh, For those who are just joining us, my guest today is Ricardo Koch, the dream expert uh, based out of the Netherlands. And uh, and we are having a very, you know, uh, important conversation about, you know, having the right foundation uh, for uh, your business and your team, but most important, you know, have, you know, the right, you know, understand your identity and the impact that you can create, you know, mm-hmm. uh, when when you, are, you have this clarity. So don't go anywhere. We will have a, a few minute break and we will be back to continue this conversation. <laughs>
throw it. Throw it down to here. I think you are on mute, uh, Tulik uh, Miraya. Okay. So welcome, uh, uh, welcome back to uh, uh, with us. So today my guest is Ricardo Koch, and uh, and I hope that you know for those who have been able to join us from the beginning that you're enjoying the conversation that we're having, and as you could you know realize it is important. Uh, for you to understand, you know, your identity and where you fit to be able to, you know, to, to create, you know, a, a very a positive impact in your life and in the life of others. And one question that I have, you know, for you, Ricardo, is um, uh, has you go through, because you said that you studied, uh, you know, uh, psychology and theology. So how are you using those tools, you know, to, to do your work? Because, I, you know, we know that young people, especially young people of, of uh, today, they are always very skeptical about, you know, theology and religion and everything that is a, a, around it. So how do you make, you know, use those tools to help them to, you know, in, in whatever problem they, they, come, they come with? Um, now, you know, the thing is, uh, what I uh, experience and, and I discover is that most young people, uh, for sure, but people in, in general, they're not skeptical about theology or religion in a, in a specific way, but more in a general way because of the, uh, the things they think that is religion. So what mm -hmm. I mainly try to do is a little bit like my mother learned me when I was younger, when I raised up, she always say, sugar doesn't say that it is sweet. So I never say I give you now religion stuff or I'm a Christian or that's not the way I work. I try to build relationship with them. And out of that relationship, I teach the principles and mostly Let's be honest, they come from the Bible in my case, and, and, mm -hmm. and they are also based on psychology because the Bible has a lot of psychology in it. Uh, and I know when I teach them and, and they, they discover this works, where do you got this knowledge? Then I, because their heart is open and we have a relationship, I can tell them, you know, I find this in the Bible and I'm a Christian. And, and, and they discover, but... That's not the way I thought it was. So a lot of uh, times people get make their own image of something. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and we try to change that image by just words. But you need to find a way that you can prove that the image is wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's not telling them it's wrong, it's just showing them and helping them to live in the principles and live out of the principles and show them it works. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, even medical science, I love science. Uh, uh, there's one saying in the Bible in, in Proverbs, it says, um, um, uh, a happy heart, uh, um, uh, how do you say it, a happy heart will be better for your health. Uh, just mm -hmm. literally translation from Dutch. Uh, six years ago, there was a medical science that came out that when you are happy, it's better for your for your health care. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, but the Bible says it already. So instead of saying you need to believe this or need to believe that, I try them to get them into the principles, learn them to stop. Because a lot of things, even we as entrepreneurs, a lot of a lot of principles we we try to, to live to, to, to that principle are mm -hmm. directly from the Bible. Uh, because the Bible is not a book of rules or a historical book, it is a book of principles. And if you understand the principles, it always works. I guarantee it for 100 percent that's the same like everything in this world is a system if you understand i play guitar i understand mm -hmm. the system of the guitar so i can play guitar but if i don't understand the system of the guitar 
it will be a horrible noise. Let's be mm -hmm. honest. <laughs> and that's with everything in life. If you don't mm -hmm. understand the system of a woman or a man, you don't you don't have a good marriage because mm -hmm. you don't understand the system how a, for a man, how a woman works or how a man works. So you need to understand the system, the principles, and how it works. And if you know how it works, and you apply it, I guarantee you, success mm -hmm. will work your life. But if you don't, it will be miserable <laughs> the whole time. Mm -hmm. Not because mm -hmm. you are bad, but you don't understand it. And that's the way mm -hmm. I try to work, to learn them the principle, learn them the system, how it works, get them into there. And on the moment that it, that it will come, they can, they can ask me, where do you get the knowledge from? And then I can tell. But I don't force them uh, mm -hmm. force directly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So and and that's uh, that's a very good strategy because I think when people start to impose, you know, on you and we all the same, we we are a bit suspicious and we we, we can you know put resistance uh, yeah. because we don't understand we or we are scared or we you know we 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 think that the person wants to control us. So mm. it's even worse with, uh, you know, the young generation where they're still developing. So when they see that you, you come, you know, as an authoritarian, wanted to, uh, to, to impose something, they, they run away on the other side instead of listening. So that's, uh, that's, it's important to connect first. That's what I understand from what you said. And then, you know, when you've connected and you, the person is, is really trusting you, then you can uh, start to elaborate a little bit more on the system and, and, and processes and knowledge. That, yeah, and uh, even though when I share the knowledge, mm -hmm. a lot of times I'm not afraid because I'm a Christian and, and I mm -hmm. meet a lot of pastors also. Mm -hmm. And pastors, they get scared when I say this, but I'm not afraid to don't call Jesus in my story yet when I mm -hmm. explain things. Not because I don't believe it's Jesus, but I'm so sure about the truth that, that if, for example, I live in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. We have a king in the Netherlands. That's Willem Alexander. Mm -hmm. If I get someone to live in the Netherlands, get them in the system of the Netherlands and the principles of the Netherlands, I don't even tell you that the king is Willem Alexander because you discover it by yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I try to work, even though I don't need to tell you who the king is or who, who has the knowledge and all the kind. Sometimes I can, but that's not my main priority. My priority is get you in the principles, in the system, in the way it works, in the culture, and out of there you will see, oh, but the knowledge comes from the king, and the king is. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a little bit the way around, but a lot of people, if you say, Jesus is king, they say, yeah, good for you. <laughs> but they need to experience by themselves that mm -hmm. it works. Mm -hmm. If you don't experience by yourself, it's just, um, how do you call it? Um, uh, just knowledge without it, it's wisdom is knowledge with experience it's not mm -hmm, even wisdom mm -hmm. it's just a little bit knowledge what you learn in school but most people they don't remember the knowledge they learned at school mm -hmm, so i want mm -hmm. people to experience that knowledge in their own life and then it will be a life flowing knowledge and that's mm -hmm. wisdom and out of there they find out oh the knowledge this wisdom comes from so that's and that's what I meant with sugar doesn't tell that it is sweet. Mm -hmm. I I don't need to tell people. Sometimes I do, uh, but most of the time I don't need to tell people that I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. Most of the time mm -hmm. people come to me and they say, "You're a Christian, isn't it?" Mm -hmm. Because they sense something mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of telling them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and it's always even you know wh even when you teach people it's always good for them to uh, you know to digest their the knowledge the way they want it you know you can share it but it's better for them to understand how to use it how and 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 them coming with their own solution it's like you know when you do coaching 
it's yeah. you know you 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 ask the right question you give the right knowledge you share the right experience but you want them to take their own you know to to have their yeah. own uh opinion and then run yeah. with it you don't want to impose your opinion yeah. because otherwise it's not going to be it's not going to be constructive at all so yeah. it's it's an important thing to to do. So I mean, you 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 are also an artist. You uh, you know you also write books. So how do you amalgamate everything together? Because um, it is you know doing coaching, it is uh, singing, it is you know writing books. So how is it working? You know, uh, uh, what is the harmony in all of this? Uh, so now, yeah, the, the, the thing that, that combined it together is the dream expert. And I discovered myself for two years ago, for sure, uh, to be honest, I got it when I get out of the room for my mother already. Mm -hmm. Um, because before that I did all the stuff, but I was thinking, but I need to be specific and what is my expertise, but, but. Every topic I spoke about, every song I wrote, people get inspired by it. So I thought, okay, I don't need to stop with it because people mm -hmm. get inspired. But what mm -hmm. is the common ground? And uh, the things I do are just ways to help people discover, reach, and live their dreams. That's the common ground. That's my mission. Uh, I, I'm not for short term, but for long term, and I do that in a lot of ways that's true mm -hmm. because i have a lot of talents yeah let's be honest um and i love a lot of things to do but the common ground is that and and through my music you feel that uh to uh, the books i write you feel that to to the television programs we make and and sometimes i present sometimes not uh you feel that and and of course in a different way but that's that's the core goal in every activity we do. And it just comes in another way because some people, they like to listen to a podcast mm -hmm. and others like to listen to music. You can reach the better to music. Others like more to read a book and, and, and others like to go to a comedy show. So it are just different forms from the same food, uh, mm -hmm. let's say it in that way. So uh, it looks a lot, but uh, it's not so lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, I, and I was just, you know, taking one of your uh, quote from your Instagram account, which is live for an extraordinary and supernatural life instead of an ordinary and bas a basic life. Can, can you elaborate on that? Uh, yes. Um... You want me to explain it a little bit, I guess. Yes, yeah, that's um, what I want. What yeah. I, uh, what I uh, meant with this, this statement, and I say it a lot, um, I, when I talk about the ordinary and basic life, I talk about a lot of people try to live the life that others want from, for them. Mm -hmm. That's an ordinary life. That's a life living to the expectations of society, that it looks like you are the same like them. But instead of them, you as a human being, as an entrepreneur, as a young people, as a young adult, as a man or a woman, uh, as a child, it uh, doesn't matter who's, who's watching right now, you are built for something higher. You're built mm -hmm. for something bigger than just the ordinary living to the expectations of having a, ha a house, a wife and a kid. And I don't say that's bad, mm -hmm. but there's so much bigger for you in store. And... I always refer to some joke. There, there was a man, and, and that's, I think, the best expl uh, explanation. There was a man on earth, and he, he's going to die. And when mm -hmm. he dies, he goes to heaven, and uh, Jesus is in heaven with him, and uh, they walk to some storage. And a lot of gifts in the storage, but they weren't opened. Mm -hmm. so, so they walk, and he, he's asking Jesus, what, what is this? And Jesus says, you don't want to know this. Mm -hmm. So on a certain moment, they come by a room, and his name is on that room. He said, what's in that room? He said, you don't want to open this. But my name is on there. 
So mm -hmm. she said, okay, I, I warn you, but open it. So he opened it and there were a lot of gifts with his name on it. And he said, mm -hmm. what is this Jesus? And Jesus said, you know, I got all these beautiful gifts to live your best life on earth for you. But because you don't believe in it, I couldn't give it to you. And that's that's exactly what a lot of people experience. They they felt I live for so much bigger than I do right now, but mm -hmm. they don't believe in the self because let's be honest, even Christians, when I say they think I'm crazy, but the whole Bible, God used the Bible to let people believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Because the, God the, doesn't need our belief. Let's be honest. He doesn't need that we believe in him because he's bigger than that. But he needs people to believe in themselves that they can do it with him to do stuff. If you mm -hmm. look at Gideon, Joseph, David, look at them. All these people like us. And a lot of people today, they don't believe in themselves. They don't get that identity, that strong character, that strong foundation. Because that's, that's your foundation. And because mm -hmm. of that, they don't accomplish what God was made him for. They don't mm -hmm. accomplish a beautiful marriage, that big company, that that life-changing event, or that 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 they don't write that book, or it doesn't matter what it could be. And I try to get people from that ordinary st stupid life, because mm -hmm. we're stupid to that extraordinary, supernatural, better life where you're called to be. And that's maybe a little bit different than a lot of people think, but let them think. They, mm -hmm. will be, they are just jealous because you understand what's life meant to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, it is so powerful, especially right now with you know all the uncertainty and all the, the things that people go through. I think a lot of uh, a lot of people now don't really dream. They don't really dream, and they don't really believe that they can uh, accomplish extraordinary thing, or they don't really believe that they have gift, you know, that uh, that were given to them by 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 God, or you know, they don't even believe that they have any greatness inside of them. And that's and that's why really I like this type of conversation, really to to reiterate to people that they understand that they are unlimited, whatever the challenges yeah. that they go through, there's always something, there's always an opportunity in this challenge that they can chase, you know, and, 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 and really step into their power and, and use the gift that they have to be able to go to the, uh, to, to go to the extra mile, because it, it's, yeah. it's, that's what it's all about. Always, you know, out, uh, you know, out performing yourself, not comparing yourself to other people, more looking at you, where you are, and how you can go further and further using the gift that, you know, you mentioned before. And that's, uh, that's an important process that, uh, that mm -hmm. still need to, uh, to be cemented in a, in a lot of people. And, uh, and I think that's probably why, you know, you, uh, you call yourself the dream expert because that's the message that you bring to them. Mm. So just, you know, just, you know, taking a parenthesis, when did you take, you know, this, uh, this name of the dream expert? Was it given to you or is it something uh, it, that you... <laughs> it was given to me because um, mm -hmm. what I said until two years, two, two years, I guess, two, three years ago, I mm -hmm. was just struggling with my focus uh, mm -hmm. let's call it and so the moment i discover but you know what it is the common ground is dreaming and something when i was younger still now because dreaming and see potential where other others don't see it so mm -hmm. you see things what others don't see so mm -hmm. i said mm -hmm. to my team the common ground is dreaming and my team said we know it already you're the dream expert mm -hmm. so they knew something without saying it to me, <laughs> mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. but I had to discover it myself. And because of that, uh, it came up with the name, the dream expert. And, uh, but it's just uh, mainly for me, the, the name is more something that I can stay focused instead mm -hmm. of, I don't like titles. I don't like functions because I'm not my function. I'm not 
of course, my expertise is in dreaming, and you can call me the dream expert, but higher mm -hmm. than that, I'm a Ricardo, and that's enough. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the foundation that a lot of young people also need to know, but also all elders. I say to a lot of entrepreneurs, I say two weeks ago on a, on a conference, and I said, don't start doing stuff unless you find yourself enough without mm -hmm. doing stuff. Because Jesus, before he get he does any miracle at all, what happened, he go and he baptized himself and God says, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. That's a compliment without doing stuff. In our Western world, that's crazy. Because mm -hmm. most of the time, when we say good things about people, when they do stuff, because you got a good report or a good, uh, yeah, good report on, on school, son, that's good. You, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it need to, if you do that to your children, but also to yourself in that way, then you try always to get the approval out of what you're doing from people. But mm -hmm. you can't accomplish your dream unless you learn that that you don't need the approval. Of course, I love it when my team says you do you did a great job, but I mm -hmm. don't need the approval of men anymore because even though when I lay on my couch the whole day watching Netflix, at the end of the, the day, I can say to myself in the mirror, I'm proud of you. It was a very useful day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do that five years ago, but because of I got, I I don't got the approval out of men anymore. I don't need it because I'm worthy not of what I'm doing, but of who I am. Mm -hmm. I can handle because also we get negativity. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. be honest, we get challenges. I can handle this kind of stuff because I know, even though when you don't grow so fast as an entrepreneur as you want your business to grow, because you don't going to blame yourself. You don't going to blame your team because it's not your word. Your worthiness is not of out of what you're doing. Do you understand what mm -hmm. I, I try to say? And that's so important. And a lot of people just, they, they do stuff because they want to be someone, but stop. Mm -hmm. If you do your business on that foundation, I love you to have a business, but stop with doing it right now. Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. you're going to hurt yourself and you're going to hurt people. If you're doing your marriage out of that, stop with it. Because that's the wrong foundation and you're only going to hurt yourself and others. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I did it mm -hmm. myself. So I <laughs> learned from a life experience who did a lot of things wrong and hurt a lot of people, including myself. Uh, one second. Mm-hmm. I need to give her the, that one. So that we was that. But I'm back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go ahead. So so that's so important. And that's what I try to get into people the most because this whole society is about that. Even with changing yourself, we live in a self-help society trying to change yourself. But I, I write it in one of my books, the first chapter. The basic of change is stop which is to stop change yourself mm -hmm. because you can get a real change by trying to change yourself the thing is try to find why am i here what's my dream what's my mission what's my cause and just surround yourself with people who go in the same direction like you Mm -hmm. Your team of your business need to be with people who go in the same direction like you. Not in the other direction, mm -hmm. not because those people are bad, but you don't going to help each other. Mm -hmm. Either you going to lay down your dream or they going to do it. But so, And because of that, 
you surround yourself with people with the same name as you, they and got mentors who are further than you, you become mm -hmm. like the people you hang around with. Mm -hmm. Just the more you hang around with those people, if you hang around whole day with addicted people, I guarantee you on a certain moment you get addicted. <laughs> That's yeah. the way it works. Mm -hmm. That's also the system that people need to understand. Change doesn't come by trying to force myself, put the ball in the water, put the ball in the water. Mm -hmm. When you relax, what happens with the ball in the water pops up mm -hmm. and there is no change at all. Change your environment, change the people around you, change the things you hear. I don't say that Netflix is bad. I, everything, you can do everything you want. Mm -hmm. But I say to people, if you want to change different, think differently, you need to hear the good stuff. Bullying mm -hmm. is a bad example of that because people who are bullied uh, a lot, they are ugly. They're going to believe they are ugly. They're going to act like they're ugly because they think that their identity is ugliness. Mm -hmm. You need to hear stuff and the stuff you hear when you hear it enough, it's going to change your thinking. Mm -hmm. And your thinking, that's the, 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 the foundation of your identity. And because you are like that, you're going to act. And mostly we try to change our actions. Mm -hmm. Try to change your input. What do you hear? What do you see? And I don't say things are bad, but just think about, okay, these things that I listen to right now, or I... I watched right now, or I, the people I get around with, uh, I get around uh, in my life. Are these people, the people I want to be like, are these things helpful for the thing I want to accomplish in my life, for the dream I want to accomplish, for the mission, for the cause? Yes or no? And if uh -huh. it is no, I don't say put it away directly. I say just find people podcast or TV, TV shows or books, it, it doesn't matter, it could be anything that you can do that will help you mm -hmm. and try to do that stuff and implement that kind of things in your life and some things you, you some people you you hang around with, it stop mm -hmm. that's okay, but you come new people instead of, and on a certain moment you look back and you think I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. And mm -hmm. I've changed without knowing and without striving for change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. so important. Wow. Powerful, powerful. And I hope, you know, uh, whoever was uh, watching or whoever was going to watch the replay, they understand that the importance of having the right people around us, but also the importance of... Uh, uh, checking that, you know, the people that we have around us are actually added, adding value to our life, to us, and helping us to grow and yeah. to go to the next level of our greatness. Because sometimes we forget to do this checkup, you know, uh, and we're so busy doing all kinds of things and accepting anyone around us, and we forget to check to say, okay, all those people around us, do we really need them? Are they helping us? Are they, you know, adding value to my life? Are they help, helping me to grow? Are, are they helping me to stretch myself? Are they helping me to uh, to step into my power and, and, and use my gift? So all those questions are, are very important to, uh, to ask and, and take time to just reflect on everything that we we've done so far and, and uh, reposition ourselves for better, uh, for growth and for better, a better future for ourselves. So, I mean, wow, it's been almost an hour uh, and, you know, I've, you know, fairly, uh, um, you know, enjoyed the, the conversation. Uh, just want to ask you, uh, there's a promotion going on on you know a series of books that you uh, you you you've written. Um, ca can you can you elaborate a little bit more about it so that you yes. know any any person watching or go, going to watch the replay can actually get access to it? 
Yes. Um, a little bit background before Corona time, I write a whole book, but it was not yet published mm -hmm. with 250 pages. I want to call it fearless, but because mm -hmm. we started our organization fearless generation, I thought, you know, but young people, they don't read so much. Mm -hmm. So I, I, uh, was busy. I'm still busy because a lot, uh, a lot of parts will be published later on this year with rewriting uh, uh, the book into a 16-part series called Arise and Shine. That's the, the series name. And the first two books, The System of Success, uh, The Root of Fear, and The Message of the Cross are already out. So they are very short uh, with a lot of knowledge, but also practical stuff, but practical in a way. I don't want to that people read that and, and try to change themselves. Like I said, mm -hmm. the first chapter of the first book is the basic of change is not to change yourself, uh, but to help them to get them in, in in line with the missions and make choices in line with the missions without uh, um, condemn condemn yourself, without mm -hmm. judge, judging yourself. So uh, there is a logical, uh, 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 how do you say it, a logical... Um, blah, 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 blah. Logical uh, path. A logical path, thank you. A logical path in the books, uh, 16 parts. And because of this beautiful show and because of the greatness and the great uh, people they are watching and listening, we as a theme one of the gift for the next three months. So it's exclusively for the moment that's coming out. So that's today. Uh, a 40% discount on every book. And that means, and then you need to go to the website books.fearlessgeneration.nl instead mm -hmm. of getting it by Amazon. Mm -hmm. And that means, for example, in now let's give an example in dollars that one book will be from five dollar thirty five. Uh, uh, that is not the normal price for three dollar twenty one. It's forty percent discount on every book, not on the total mm -hmm. price, because we know for sure. A lot of people, they already uh, read it and they get a hold of it and they get blessed by it. It's in Dutch and it's in English. But I think most uh, watchers and viewers, they want to uh, have it in, in English. Uh, in English. Mm -hmm. But if they want it in Dutch, be my guest. So mm -hmm. uh, we want to offer that to this uh, beautiful audience uh, mm -hmm. you have and the great, the greatness people I can say the greatness engineers, but the great mm -hmm. people they are, not because of what they're doing, but because of who they are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And fantastic. So make sure you uh, go on booksfearlessgeneration.nl. That's where you know you can order the book and there's a discount of 40%. And the code for the discount is greatness engineering uh, 2022. Uh, 0927. So yeah. make sure you take notes and order your book. I mean, it's uh, it's it's go it's going to be three dollars. Uh, so it's important. It's nothing for something that you can benefit from and learn from. Something that can help you. Uh, like I always say, to go to the next level of your greatness because that's really you know our uh, mission here with this show. Mm -hmm to make sure that you understand that you have greatness inside of you, you have gift, and we want you to step into your power and go to the next level of your greatness, learning from uh, our guest who actually bring you know, the best here to, to help you to do exactly that. So before we leave, you know, we leave the platform, uh, what is the key message that you want to leave the audience with before we close out on our, on our conversation? Uh, the key message, we talked also a little bit about it, but it's what I said. Stop with getting approval from men. You don't need the likes. You don't need the views. You don't need the approval on men for your worthiness. You are worthy, not of what you're doing, but of who you are. And if you get a hold of that, not only in your mind, but in your emotions, in your in your spirit, in your in every cell of 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 of, of your body, 
then it will change your life. And I guarantee you without a shadow of a doubt, doubt you will get a lot of success uh, in your business, in your marriage, in, in everything. Not because you want the success, but it's it's go flowing naturally. You don't go to strive anymore for it. So if there was a key message is that, and if you just live your life out of the proof of man, stop with it today. Uh -huh. Because every day you do that, it's a waste day. You don't going to accomplish your mission, your dream with living in that way. Fantastic. So I hope you got the message. This is a strong message. You don't need the approval of anyone. Just stop living your life for other people. Live your life for yourself and, and, and make sure you believe, you know, and, and I think you mentioned that during the show, you believe in the gift that you have and use all the gift because, you know, the story that you shared was, you shared was powerful. Uh, this person who died and realized that they didn't actually uh, use the gift that were, you know, uh, the gift that they have under their name. So we don't mm. want to finish like that. Make sure you identify all those gifts and make sure you open all those gifts and, and use them before you depart from this world. So that has been a very powerful conversation. And I really want to thank you, Ricardo, for your time for yeah. your insight and for your inspiration because I, yeah. I got really inspired today by your message and uh, and and I really you know uh, uh, commend you for the work that you do especially with uh, you know the youth and young adults to to make sure that they understand the you know the the value and and have clarity mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, for you know for the identity their identity and become confident to become the best version of themselves because yeah. that's really what we all want to aspire with. So thank, thank you, you very for much. the privilege and thank you for this beautiful show and the mission you want to accomplish to uh, let the engineers and the entrepreneurs see their greatness and uh, mm -hmm. love what you're doing. You inspire me too. And thank you I so much. And my cat is inspired too. Ah, the cat is inspired. So hello to the cat. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a shame that we don't have much time, but uh, we make sure uh, to bring back uh, Ricardo and have the cat participate as well. So that would be a great one to have. So until then, uh, so I, I just want to say bye-bye to everyone. Uh, I will be back for another episode of the Greatness Engineering Hour show next week. So make sure you join us. And please, you know, go on books, Fearless Generation NL, and I will pop in again the code in the, in the comment, especially for those who are going to have the replay and, uh, and make sure that you get your copy and uh, of the series of book that uh, Ricardo has written. So, so until then, bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of your day, Ricardo. Thank and you. thank you again for gracing uh, the platform of the Greatness Engineering Hour show. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.